Well, thank you so much. It's uh, certainly my pleasure to join you today and bring greetings on behalf of Premier Notley and my government colleagues. Some of them are here today. I know Denise Woolard is here from Edmonton Mill Creek. And uh, yeah, maybe give a wave to Denise. Yeah. And from Edmonton Center is uh, David Shepard. And from Edmonton Allersley is Rod Loyola. And I mean, you guys have done a fabulous job. You've got many politicians here. And so uh, it's good to be with my colleagues federally, the MPs Boisano and Genius, and of course, all the city councillors, Walters and Knack. Uh, I'm also, uh, you know, uh, want to recognize that we're on Treaty 6 territory. And I'm proud also to recognize the Métis people of Alberta who share a deep connection and history with this land. What a great feeling to be in a room full of people who care about affordable housing. Each of us here understands that safe, affordable housing is the foundation for a better life. And I know Capital Region Interfaith Housing's initiative, critical priorities are thoughtful, innovative solutions to helping people in our community. Our government shares similar goals. We believe that every Albertan should have a safe and affordable place to call home. That belief is at the heart of our provincial affordable housing strategy, the province's first ever comprehensive housing strategy. It includes an historic $1.2 billion commitment to build, renovate, and modernize affordable housing in our province. That means 4,100 homes for seniors and Albertans with low incomes will be renewed or built under our initiative. And this is four times more than the previous government's capital plan. I'm proud to work with the Premier who is fighting for an economy that works for everyone. Instead of giving the rich a big tax break, we're making sure our loved ones are taken care of and that they have the resources they need and the frontline services that support them. As I, yeah, someone's gonna clap. <laughs> Yay. As I travel the province and speak to Albertans, I learn every day how important having a place to call home is. And I understand this not only as the minister responsible for housing, but also as someone who lived it. Many years ago, I myself lived in affordable housing. It gave me the opportunity to continue my education. It helped me to provide for my son as a single mom, and it allowed me to work towards establishing my social work career. The peace of mind of having a safe and stable home to live in while I pursued a better life for my family was invaluable. And that is the goal of our provincial strategy to see beyond bricks and mortar of a house. Our strategy puts people first. We focus on supporting people who need someone in their corner. We want to give tenants the tools they need to succeed. Maybe it's access to a social worker or making sure they can progress through the housing system or helping Albertans experiencing homelessness with opportunities to get back on their feet. Our government is building a foundation for people. One example of this work is our pilot for mixed market rents to give tenants the option of staying in their existing home if their income increases. This model allows tenants to pursue better paying jobs without being penalized for making more money. We all know, also know this is an excellent way to bring more sustainable sustainability to affordable housing market. Early feedback shows us we're on the right track. And this is actually the number one uh, uh, result, we got a feedback saying this is what tenants want because as they stabilize in housing, they're able to uh, oftentimes get a better job and then they're in the community that they love, close to their friends, they don't want to move. So this is something that's really helping people stay in those communities. Of course, there are instances where people need support above and beyond the walls of a home. For this, our Ministry of Seniors and Housing has combined forces with the Minister of Community and Social Services. Together, we're working on sustainable housing solutions for the Albertans who need it. Minister Saber's support and contributions has accelerated the valuable work our government has done addressing this issue.
We want people to find the safe and stable footing they need to break the cycle of poverty and get back on track. Our partnership includes permanent supportive housing projects, several of which will be announced in the coming months. We know that these projects will do a great deal of good for our communities and that these homes will bring security and hope for many Albertans experiencing chronic homelessness. We want to give them the tools they need to succeed. This includes mo mobile supports, such as mental health services and ad addiction treatment. We know that the housing first approach to cost is cost efficient, and most importantly, this approach will help us shift from managing homelessness to ending homelessness. It is with this in mind that Alberta's Housing First program is expanding and new supportive housing projects are on the way. We are of course not the only level of government, as you know, that's committed to this cause and our federal counterparts also recognize the importance of affordable housing. Last year they announced the National Housing Strategy, a plan to give more Canadians across the country a place to call home. Together, we're providing housing infrastructure while creating good jobs, building a diversified economy, promoting a green economy, and supporting those who need someone in their corner. We also have a strong partner in the City of Edmonton. No one can doubt Mayor Iveson's commitment to affordable housing. Working with the City of Edmonton, we have built sustainable, accessible housing that will add diversity to Edmonton communities and support residents in need. This spring, we opened the Baldwin Place Permanent Supportive Housing Project, which included 25 new barrier-free homes. And earlier in the year, we opened the North Glenora Project, which transformed an aging church into 16 net zero homes for families. Our government is committed to investing in affordable housing, and our budget 2018 proved we are taking our commitment to affordable housing seriously. We increased funding for affordable housing providers by $11.2 million to address critical maintenance needs inherited from the previous government. Budget 2018 also included an investment in the Indigenous Housing Capital Program, the first program of its kind in Alberta. In support of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, we committed $120 million to increase the supply of affordable housing for Indigenous peoples. This investment will help Indigenous, gov indigenous governments and organizations design and deliver affordable housing directly to Indigenous communities. Our capital plan also supports a number of development and renewal projects to improve and expand on existing housing options. All of these investments work towards our goal to create 4,100 new and renewed homes for Albertans. I know government cannot solve the housing problem alone. That is why we value partnerships we have with other levels of, of government and of course the faith community who's represented here today. Thank you so much for all the work that you do to uh, support people in your communities. And thank you again for inviting me here today. I look forward to seeing the results of your work. I have no doubt that your efforts will change lives. I know this because affordable housing changed mine. Thank you.